Today I'm just going to be showing you guys how to get this Cranberry Crush look, which is very cute, but I did it all in a low budget, which is a thumbs up. Be sure to thumbs up this video if you like it and continue to watch if you like to see how to get this look. Starting off, I've already concealed my eye and I'll put a setting powder on top of it. And if you guys are curious to know, I use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fun and I use NYX. And I use the NYX Mineral Set It and Don't Fret It powder to set my eyelid so that the color doesn't crease. So I'm just going in the color. This is a really pretty color to me and it's also a great transition color and it's very pigmented so I shouldn't have put that much on the brush but it's fine. And I'm just going to go right in my crease, directly into my crease. For those of you who have hooded eyes, I do recommend that you go just above your crease. That way you can see the transition and you can see all the colors. I just try to make one come up. It didn't work. This is a color Central Perk, by the way. It is a super shock and it also is from ColourPop and it's super, super pigmented and super, super pretty. And it gave me this nice look on this side. So we hope we can get the same look on this side. So I'm just taking the color and this brush and I'm just going in it. And I'm literally, literally going to apply this color right where I did the transition shade, but just a bit below it. Directly in my crease, basically. I'm still going in with Central Perk from ColourPop, and I'm just applying it in my crease. And then I'm also bringing it down in my inner corner and over just a bit because we only want the center of our lids to be a lighter color. Everything else is going to be darker, so I'm just bringing it all the way down. And in. Okay, yeah, it's time to pick up some more product with ice. I don't know what you're doing. It does not have like any transition or any glow like that or anything like that. Why, why, why am I staring at it? Like staring on my face. Darken that up. Like that. Bomb. So bomb. Uh, uh, uh. So bomb. Uh, uh, uh. So bomb. Uh, uh, uh. So bomb. By the way, y'all, this is my first video that I am recording for my YouTube channel. It's not the first one I'm uploading, but it's the first video that I'm recording. So, shout out to me. In this portion of the tutorial, I am going in with the color Cricut by ColourPop to add just a bit of glitter to my crease and around the darker areas. Back. Color. It is a black, it is in the color carbon. I'm just gonna use this to create more depth in my outer and inner lid. So I'm here, I'm just gonna start really, really little. That way I can work my way up. I don't want to be like too dark. Now I'm going in with this F6 brush by Simply Essentials to just sort of like get my transition. I want you to show me how to get to know. Next I'm going to be taking Carbon by MAC to apply it on my inner lid and outer corner and also in the crease to give it all a darker look. Alrighty loves, now I'm just going to smoke out the color that I just applied to make sure that it isn't such a harsh black dark line. What color do we use for the lid? For the lid. Is this NYX color. It is in the color Coquette. I'll just say the numbers. HS13. That's it right there at the top. Let's see, hopefully. It's a really pretty white color. 
And I also took this on a smudger brush just because I wanted to be sure that I only stay in this area. So I use a smudger brush to apply this. So let me find that brush. Let me find that brush. Here we go. I found the brush. And applying it on the center. Okay guys, the smudger brush wasn't working as well as I wanted to, so I'm just going with my fingers still with the color Cricut by ColourPop. So it's the same thing. And we are done with the eyeshadow. So here guys, I'm just using a powder brush to wipe away any fallout before I go and put on my foundation. So I'll be right back. I'm going to run off to wet my beauty blender. So see you in a jiffy. Okay y'all, so my beauty blender is wet. So starting off with foundation, I am going in with the L'Oreal True Match in the color Cream Cafe W8. This is my color and I'm also going to mix it with the Maybelline Fit Me in the color shade 350. Color shade, same thing. I don't even know why I corrected myself. So I'm just going to mix them. First, I'm going to shake. A shake. You thought I was about to sing another song, but I wasn't. My beauty blender is damp, and it is essential that you guys use a damp beauty blender. You do not want to use a dry one. Use a damp beauty blender. And I'm just going to... Blend this all out. Okay, guys, for my own special preference, I only prefer one layer of foundation. That's just something that I do. I just like to go for a more natural look. But if you guys wish to do more, um, do more. I just did it in this video. I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the color Warm Honey to highlight those areas that need to be highlighted. So I'm just applying it on my forehead, the bridge of my nose, my chin, and right under the eyes. Again, I'm just going in with my damp beauty blender to blend everything all out. I went in with a bit more of the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the color Warm Honey to add a bit more of highlight underneath my eyes. Go in with the color Expresso. This is also the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer. And I'm just going to use this to contour my areas that need to be contoured. Okay, so I applied the contour shade along the temples of my forehead, along my cheekbones, and also I used it on my chin to enhance the size of it. I don't know. I, I actually like the size of my chin, but now I'm just going in with my contour color to contour the nose and define its shape. Once again, I'm taking my damp beauty blender and I am just blending out my contour all along my face, but I do leave my nose contour on for just a little bit to let the color sink all the way in. Here I'm just taking my NYX Set It Don't Fret It Mineral Setting Powder on the areas that I highlighted and also the areas that I tend to get oily in or that I tend to be like wet or something. So yeah, I'm just using that on my face to set those areas and then I'll be back. After adding the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the color Warm Honey on my nose and contouring my nose, blending in the contour I mean, I'm going to go in with the powder brush and I'm just going to wipe away the setting powder and I'm just going to make sure that I do this very, very carefully because I do not want to leave a white cast on my face. Now guys, I'm going to go in with this um, face contour palette by Beauty Treats. This can be found at Walmart or any beauty supply store and this is only $6 and let me tell y'all, this palette is like super super pigmented. Like I told y'all, like I'm just not getting into makeup. But I, I grabbed this like it's something to start with and oh my gosh, I only use these two shades. But this works so well. If you're a beginner and if you are on a budget, this is really good. So here I'm just applying the contour shades on the same areas that I put the cream contour. I'm just going over and I'm basically setting it with this powder. Guys, so after I went in with the contour palette on my face, I just added a bit of the setting powder on my nose and I just danced it off a little bit to let it set even more. 
Next, I'm just going in with the color Bandit by ColourPop. This is the same color I used for my transition earlier on on the lid. But I'm just taking this and putting this in my water line and smoking it out. And now, going back into Central Perk, the color that we mainly use for our lids. Um, I'm just going to put that on the bottom water line as well. But I'm going to go in using this little brush. I don't know where it's from. And, um... Once I find it, I'm going to put it on. Here we go. Okay. And then I'm just going to put this only on the outer part. going in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the color Fawn. This color is similar to my natural skin color so it's perfect to do and I didn't want to make the um, shape of my eye too sharp, of my shadow too sharp. I can't even talk. I didn't want to make the shape of my shadow too sharp. After my eyeshadow shape is somewhat clean, I'm just going to dust off the setting powder that I have on my nose and I'm also going to go back in my eyes and define any dark areas that I feel like I need to. I want you to show me how to get to know someone like you, someone like you. I want you to know me because I know that So, now that I'm done with my eyes and everything else, I think, I think, I am. I'm just gonna go in with this eyeliner. So I went ahead and applied my eyeliner and my lashes off camera because it took me so, so long because these lashes, I am not a fan of these lashes. These lashes, one, are like plastic, and two, they're super, super big, but I did it for the video and I did it for you guys, and besides, these were the only ones I had on me. But jumping back into the tutorial, I applied the Wet n Wild Lip Liner in the color brown, and I also went over it with the color Classy by this company called Color Rain, and it gave me this beautiful, soft, pretty lip. Also going in with this highlighter by this company called Hikari. It is called Radiant Shimmer Bronzer. It's also a bronzer. And I do not know where you guys can purchase this. It was also sent to me in a monthly subscription box. So yeah, I'm not sure where you guys can purchase it. But I'll try to Google and see if I can find something and put it in the description box below. If I can remind myself to. Alrighty loves, this is my very first completed makeup tutorial for my youtube channel i'm so thankful to be here and i'm just so thankful for you guys for watching this video be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below and i just pray that we can grow continue to grow together on this youtube journey this makeup look is very touching to me because if i hadn't done this look a while ago and posted it on my twitter instagram and snapchat then i wouldn't be here today because this is the look that made me create this youtube channel it was the first one that all of my followers and viewers saw and they were like can you show us how can you show us how and I was like sure on YouTube someday and so I finally created the channel and so I just thought I just knew I just had to redo this because this is really like the main reason why I'm making a YouTube channel because of this makeup look. Don't forget to comment like and subscribe on this video.